Oké, okay. szóval egy mondatban azért sziasztok. Első tanuló körös órákról most jelentkezünk a középhaladó haladó csoporttal. És akkor úgy fogjuk, abban maradtunk, hogy most 67-en vagyunk, most nem tudom, csak sacra. Csinálok egy bemutatkozót, és utána pedig a csapat is így soronként bemutatkozik. Majd erre van egy módszerünk, majd kiderül közben. Kezdhetem? Tehát akkor mi abban maradtunk, hogy mindenki jegyzetel, ti is úgy hallgassátok a bemutatkozómat, hogy figyeljetek az új szavakra. Ö, nyugodtan meg lehet állítani, hogy jelezzétek, hogy hú, nagyon nem értettem, hogy mit mondtál. Ö, lehetőleg angolul próbáljátok megállítani, tehát ez a, hogyan mondanátok, hogy hogyan jeleznétek, hogy nem stimmel elmaradtatok. Sorry, could you Could you repeat it please? Ugye, hogy meg tudnád -e ismételni. Ö, te mit akartál mondani, Andi? Jó, csak hogy nagyjából ez volt, ugye, mert hogy közbe vágtunk. Jó, tehát could you repeat it please? Ö, és ö, olyat is kérdezhetsz, hogy what is, és akkor kérdezed azt a szót, hogy próbálod hangban visszaadni, amit mondtam. Jó, és nem baj, ha más mondasz, már tudom kérdezni, mi van szó. A másik, hogyha nagyon nem értitek, akkor se ijedjetek meg, hogy fú, már elvesztem, én nekem már egy fogalmam sincs róla, mert az is a lényeg, hogy az egész szövegre, ha koncentráltok, a lényeg, hogy, hogy úgy nagyjából képbe legyetek, hogy mit mondtam magamról, illetve még úgy jegyzeteljetek, hogy esetleg lehet, hogy valami ötletet kaptok az én bemutatkozomból, hogy ti magatokra, amit akartok mondani, jó? Tehát, hogyha egy szerkezet tetszik, akkor ezt írjátok le. Oké? Okay? Jó, hozzávetőlegesben nem tudom, hogy szokták ezt mondani. Nézz el lefelé is egy kicsit, mert ha csak yeah. az oldalad látszik, akkor az nem jó a kamerában. Oké, okay, jó. Angolul? Yeah, yeah, please, you, uh, can, you tell, uh, can you do, do that you uh, turn... Uh, uh, Could you turn this way? Please? Yeah, you Could you turn, turn this way? Face this way? Could you turn this way? Face? To face? Oké, okay. mindjárt jól majd ezeket is. Okay, so my name is Porsche, as you know. I was born 36 years ago in Sombathei. I have an older brother and um, I grew up much like a boy. I always hung out with boys. I did a lot of um, rough play and rough activities and sports and beating and, and things like that. Um, I always loved water. When I was a child, I was very much like um, Eva Seke. Um, every time we were at the pool, my parents always had a difficult time taking me out of the water. So one day they asked the trainer if um, they asked him what he thought about me and my ability. And um, he said I was good and my parents left me there. So. Um, That was the time when I became a swimmer, where I started my swimming career. And um, I was a competitive swimmer. Competitive? You know, competitive? No. Okay, you know, to compete. To compete, competition. Mm -hmm. So to compete. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a competitive swimmer. I was a competitive swimmer for seven years. I will write down the words, so, um, but take notes as well. Um, I was a competitive swimmer for seven years and um, I stopped, I quit when I was, I went to high school and it was too much. It was um, because I had training in the morning, training in the evening, I was in school, I had competitions at weekends, so um, it was crazy. I quit when I was 14 and um, started high school in Sombathe and um, I, I was bored, I think. Now that I look back, I, I think I was bored. Um, I, always, I wanted to be an actress. I was in acting, <laughs> <laughs> acting classes and um, I had this big vision of me becoming an actress and I felt it was um, absolutely important for me to move to Budapest and go to theaters and go to acting classes. And um, so I convinced my parents when I was 15 to let me move to Budapest. And, um, and I did. Um, I, I don't know, I, I think I was always very determined and my parents 
parents were scared to say no or something. So I always had things my way. I moved here when I was 15 and I went to Yoja Fatila High School. Um, I graduated and um, after about a year I started my studies at ELTE and um, I studied um, Hungarian literature and linguistics and after my first year at university I decided to take a break. It was a very sudden decision. Um, I decided to go to the United States just to learn English. I never learned English, I always learned other languages and I felt there was an opportunity and I felt it was a great um, chance for me to try to learn English. <coughs> yes? Felt, felt, what did you say? I felt. Felt, felt, felt. felt. No, no, no. No? Feel, feel, felt, felt. 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 Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. What's Feel, uh, feel, fall, felt, fell, fallen, that's the other one. So feel, felt, felt, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt it was a great opportunity and I uh, became a babysitter. I was an au pair, so I lived with a family, classic story. Um, and um, I cared for three children. Um, I had a two month old baby and an eight and a ten year old. Um, it was um, pretty crazy. And I had, I had a great year, there was a lot of ups and downs and it's great to go to a foreign country for a year, I would always encourage everybody. But um, I also met my former husband. Former? Mm -hmm. Former is like ex, but it's a much better word, so try to use former. I met my former husband and um, I returned to Hungary after my year. I continued my studies and um, me and my former husband, who was at, the, at that time, um, I, I suppose I should say my boyfriend, um, asked me to return to the US. So we started to have plans, but it was very difficult. So um, I continued my studies and I started to have um, more and more um, concrete plans about returning to the US. Um, and it took about a year. Um, after about a year, I was able to return there for, for longer periods. I mean, I traveled back, but I couldn't stay there. And um, when I returned, the issue was um, that I had to be there legally. Um, legal, right? Legal. Um, so I either had to get married to be legal, or I had to go to school. We didn't want to get married just for that. So I went to school. Um, I, I lived in, this is all in Chicago, I lived in Chicago and I went to Roosevelt University where I studied uh, computer science. And so for about three years I was doing, I was doing two schools parallel. I was still coming back to ETA and I was at that time already taking classes in Chicago. So for about three years my life looked like this. Um, I would go to school in the U.S., finish my exams, get on the plane the very next day, come home, go to the library, spend three or four weeks at the library, studying. Um, I barely, barely, do you know barely? Barely, mm -hmm. It's like barely, barely. Could you, could you write it down? Of course. Writing will be funny. I will tell you what it means. If you don't know, that's okay, don't worry. So, I barely saw my family. It means I really didn't see my family very much. Um, so, I would take my exams and then the very next day I would return to the US. It was very difficult. But I finished both my schools, um, and I was at, during that time we got married. So slowly I was able to start to work. Um, I started to work at a bank um, while I was there, 
which was a great opportunity for me to learn a lot, but also it was very hmm, disillusioning, you know. I mean, I saw, as I learned more in English, I understood more about the ugliness of the world, and so I started to have illnesses, and I started to have illness, yeah. illness, sickness, um, and I started to feel the signs in my body that I needed to change things. So I quit my job, but at that time my, my life was all about work, work, you know, I worked like 16 hours a day. Um, so basically I spent um, almost 10 years in the U.S. in um, a fairly happy relationship, uh, considering compared to most relationships I had a wonderful relationship. But um, because of the circumstances and because of how we mismanaged things, um, the relationship was not working at one point. And because I always wanted to live in Europe, and my husband um, had roots in the US, one day we made a decision to separate. And it was a very tough decision because he's still my best friend. Um, but we had to come to a point where um, we just said it was better for both of us. So I returned to Hungary about um, six, seven years ago and I started my business. Um, I started to teach, translate, um, work as an interpreter. I also um, try to do a lot of work to, to help the world, to make the world better. So I always try to uh, find ways, as you know, to volunteer or to, to just feel better. And this is where I am right now. I, my family consists of two dogs, and, uh, and that's it. Um, hopefully, we can learn a lot together. And um, if you have questions at any time, you know, I want you to be an honest student. So if you don't like something, I want you to tell me. Because I don't want anyone to feel bad. Or I don't want anyone to feel that I'm pushing something that is not good for them. Okay, so I don't like to start to feel that something is not okay and feel that you don't tell me. <laughs> feel free to tell me anything. Even if you feel like, okay, this is completely stupid, I still want you to tell me. Okay? And I think we can work with that. How is that? Were you able to understand everything or most, most everything? Most. Most everything. <laughs> There's actually an expression, more or less, more or less. That's one of my students loves this, loves this. Ever since I taught him this expression, more or less, I would ask him, so do you understand? And he would say, more or less. You know what it means, right? More or less? More or less. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so what, barely, merely in Hungarian? No. You don't know? No, I don't know. <laughs> I tried to explain it. What's barely? Barely? Uh, that's rarely. Rarely. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Actually, uh, barely, merely, I could also say hardly. What's hardly? Hardly. Uh -huh. Hardly. It's almost the same. Yeah, there are synonyms. Actually, I still remember this word. The way I try to teach is I, I try to give you an image, a situation to remember a word. Because I can tell you who, where, when and where I learned this word. I remember the situation. I, I, I learned this word in, in my um, computer science 101 class when I had the test. And uh, the question, one of the questions of the test said merely. And I went to the teacher and I asked, what does it mean merely? I don't understand the question. And he explained it. And, you know, things like that helps you remember something. Because you have a, an association in your head. Okay, so that's the goal. We will try to create situations to remember words. And that was uh, determined. Uh, determined? Very good. Actually, determined, a lot of people say that, determined, because you think of the word mind, but the emphasis, you know what emphasis? 
Emphasis is where you push the word. Emphasis is a hangsúly. Annyira nem lesz lényeges szó. Yeah, man, maybe I will use this emphasis. So, um, determined. I'm sure there are some people who know this word. I mean, it's even in Hungarian.
de ez nem olyan szó, amire most ezen túl így emlékeznetek kell, vagy valami, csak most ebben ezt fogjuk használni. I'm calling on, ugye jelen folyamatos használok, mert hogy most teszem, de ezeket majd még mind tisztelzik. Ez így oké, és érthető? Oké, so, um, my name is Orsi, and I'm a teacher, and I'm calling on Betty to say something. Uh, I'm Betty, I'm a child nurse. A child nurse, child okay. Child nurse. I'm calling on. Do you like Andrea, by the way? Andy. Andy is okay. 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 Sometimes, okay. I am an assistant. Okay. And that's all. Okay, who do you want to call? Thanks. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm an engineer guy. I'm in computer science. And I'm called Emesha. I'm, call, I'm calling. I'm calling Emesha. Okay. Hello, uh, my name is Emesha. Uh, I am a teacher in a primary school. Um, and um, I'm calling. Um... Carolina. <laughs> Carolina. <laughs> Thanks. Hello, my name is Carolina. Uh, I'm a dog trainer, um, exactly, uh, not a dog trainer, I, I, I like to say that I'm a human trainer, uh, mm -hmm. just that the, the, you know, the, the, the man behind the dog. Mm -hmm. And I'm calling uh, again Orsi maybe, because uh, I know just you, your name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the idea is to try to remember names, okay. So again, I'm Orsi and... Um, I have two dogs who, no, Lina trained me to be better with my dogs. You trained for yourself, I trained you. No, yeah, you trained me, that's for sure. <laughs> and um, two, and I want to call you and I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm calling Kata because I forget her name and I need to practice it. Hello, I'm Kata. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm Anne, and uh, I came from Transylvania. <laughs> and I'm calling Betty. No, not Betty. No. Betty is next to you. Andy, I'm there. Andy. 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 GMC and uh, uh, music producer too, and uh, I love that in him because uh, I love that about him. I love that about him mm -hmm. <coughs> because uh, uh, it's his job and his hobby too together. It's really cool, I think. Okay, one thing I need to correct. That's very important. She said I'm living in a relationship. Why is that incorrect? Or I hope it's incorrect. I mean, it can be correct, but why would I not like her to say that? I'm in a relationship. Yeah, that's that's better. But if I wanted to use the word live, what's the difference? Between
between I live or I'm living. Folyamatos, és az, hogy befejezett vagy nem, vagy nem tudom. Aha, ez, ez mondjuk ilyen, igen, de nem. Tehát ugye ez, ez a, amit tanárok tudod szabály szerint, az folyamat. Ah, ez tök jó, ezt nem szokták tudni. Mondjad? Andrea? Andrea, ugye? Andrea. Hát, hogy miért? Köszi. Maybe it wasn't. Uh, És um... azt mondtad, hogy átmenetileg kapcsolatban élek. Tehát, hogy azzal, hogy, hogy nem Ha ezt szépen mondod, az egy rendszerességet. Tehát az azt, azt, azzal azt kommunikálod, hogy az úgy rendszeresen állandóan igaz. Ha ez ehhez képest folyamatos, de erről majd beszélni fogunk sokat. Csak akkor az azt mondod, hogy most átmenetileg ez így van, de amúgy nem jellemző az én életemre. Tehát, hogy ez, ez fontos, erről sokat fogunk beszélni. Oké, okay? so that was my sentence, and I'm passing it back to Andy. I have two children, two sons. My other son is Roland, he is 19 years old. 19? You're young to have a 19-year-old child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you're in your 20s or something. I? Yeah. I am uh, 41. 41? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Good. I, I hope to be, you know, I hope to look, look like you when I'm 41. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um. Sorry, about, uh, just I think uh, you said that uh, if there is on the top on the screen the red one a camera, mm -hmm. uh, but there isn't uh, that camera. Only that uh, it's it's it's. Uh, oh, but it's yeah. Yeah, so I I'm not sure because there I I, I found a, a red one. Well, uh, you know, we'll continue. It looks like it's recording. If it's not, then everybody else will miss up first. Oh, good, 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 good. It's gonna be private. But I think it's good. I don't know because it has a different um, front part this time, so it might be different. You said your older son is. Didn't you say nineteen? Yeah, yeah, nineteen and sixteen. Yeah. Okay. No, it's, it's my fault. Don't worry. I just I'm trying to remember. Okay, call somebody. <laughs> I have been uh, living with my boyfriend. Uh, He's an IT professional. IT professional. Professional. Okay, this is the last one. Okay, and then we'll we'll switch to the uh, longer introduction. She, she said that. No, he, she said, that's why I was checking. She said, I have two sons, a six years old. Oh. And. Hmm? Year old. Yeah, but why is it a six year old? Because it's a good one. Yes, 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 it's a good one.
Hogyha az, hogy te, te, te azt mondod, hogy x éves valaki, akkor ugye ez, egy, ez, ez a jelzője annak a főnévnek. Tehát, hogy ő egy hat éves gyerek. Ha azt mondod, hogy ő 